So as we can see, the Russian Empire was neither capitalist or socialist. Um, taken from these two false perspectives, it, had, it, it used both ideas. What it actually was was simply common sense. In the case of Russia itself and the, and the countries around, the countries of the Russian world, ex-Russian Empire, ex-Soviet Union, it's very well worthwhile remembering that this infrastructure that was built uh, at a huge scale, uh, the, the very second that trains were invented and the first uh, railway ran from Stockton to Darlington in the north of England, the emperors of Russia, their ministers, their scientists and their engineers understood immediately what a godsend this was for such a huge country. By the time Nicholas II was overthrown by a Western-backed putsch, there was massive infrastructure laid down here. Uh, this infrastructure enabled the spectacular um, um, e evacuation of plants and factories and Soviet Russian industry from the West, from, from all the territories that were and could be um, occupied by Nazi Germany, to Central and Eastern Siberia. If it hadn't been there, it, that would have been utterly impossible probably changing the course of history and changing maybe there would be no Dien Pobiedi Victory Day in Russia, which is one of the, the most important and heartfelt holidays in this country. Uh, so this is why it's, it's not, you cannot accurately um, describe the ills of the world, which are certainly existing, and the fact that almost now, day after day, more and more spectacularly, more and more openly and more and more shamefully, wealth generated by millions and billions of people around the world is being is being parasited off and sucked up into the ever fewer elite who are actually more and more visible and more and more blatant about what they're doing this is not this cannot be described as capitalism it's a, it's, it's a capitalism is a meaningless word it's certainly got nothing to do with the free market and when you understand that these are the very same people who set up socialist countries, who overthrew the Russian Empire and moved in with their, with their centrally controlled bank, the first central bank of the Soviet Union, there was actually an American working for Chase Manhattan Bank on the board. Um, so yeah, let's, let's stop saying there was, by the way, I want to mention one gentleman, I forget your name to my shame, but a couple of years ago you wrote an article and put it out in the Saker blog called Capitalism is Not the Problem. Uh, and I read this article, you were absolutely right. If you know who you are, please come forward. You can find me easily on my Facebook page or the contacted page or, or here. Uh, and many, many people said, yeah, great article, man, love it. But capitalism is the problem. Let's use words accurately. If you're arguing capitalism versus socialism, as I said last time and the time before, we're fighting their fight. We're not exposing their control of the money supply, the fractional reserve banking and the usury, which is, which is banned by all the world's leading religions, and not for nothing. Okay, thank you very much. See you next time.